story journey with Lord Walker Cho at the Storyteller's Stage. The story of the Lich King's Death Knights is a true tragedy. While Tazarian's tale may not be the most tragic, it is a tale that should be told. Tazarian was raised on a farm, but his father taught him to be a soldier. Do not proceed. You will be eliminated. After his father died, Tassarian followed in his footsteps and joined Lordaeron's military. When Prince Artus set out to fight the Scourge, Thessarion was one of his first volunteers. Thessarion was there during the culling of Stratholm and followed his prince to Northrend to bring retribution to the Scourge. In Northrend, Prince Arthas discovered the rune blade, Frostmoan. <laughs> but we already know Arthas' story. When Arthas returned, he killed Tessarion and raised him as a death knight. Under Arthur's command, Thessarion slaughtered those he had sworn to protect. <sighs> Even his own mother. Long years passed, and Arthas had become the Lich King himself. But the Lich King, in an effort to draw out his enemies, sent the contingent of his death knights into a hopeless battle. System failed. This treachery, along with the power of Azeroth's heroes, shattered the Lich King's control over these death knights. The Saurian and his fellow death knights formed the Order of the Ebon Blade, and together they marched on Northrend to destroy the Lich King. In Northrend, Tassarion faced treachery again when the Alliance commander he served was revealed to be Blood Prince Valinar of the Scourge. Valinar kidnapped Thessarion's sister to use against the Death Knight. Thessarion was able to defeat the Blood Prince and rescue his sister. Unfortunately, the tragedy of his story is this. Although Tassarian promised his sister 
he would seek her out after he had defeated the Lich King, he still has not. Chained to his misery, consumed by hatred, the man who made that promise is no more. Or perhaps that is merely what he believes. <laughs> 